Hello everyone, um, a lot of drama going on at the National Assembly, most especially at the Senate, where you've seen, first of all, Senator Ningi coming out to uh, allege that the, the Senate, had they have padded, or is it the Senate or the National Assembly, they've added about three point something trillion naira to the budget and their own so that these monies are just there not going anywhere you know when they do a padding and then before you know what's happening those are monies that are just going to be shared somehow shared among whatever organization that they're using as front without any you, there's really nothing towards the budget being uh like a, a project you could that it's, it's made for that it's supposed to be supposed to go to or supposed to be used for so these kind of things are used as tactics to be able to get uh money uh there uh, on ground and so senator Lincoln has been uh, all over the place he has been uh, talking about this particular pardon he's also i think the uh, leader of the northern senators and all of that but this is what senator uh, Ningi had to say the budget, to the budget which Onanuga seems to have dwelt on. I say we have established very reasonable doubt about 25 trillion so far has nexus in the budget. That means there is money and then there is project and then there is location. Money, project, location. But we are yet to ascertain three trillion, three trillion of that budget. We have established the three trillion in the budget. We have not established its location and the place. The intention of the Northern Senators as regards to the budgetary allocation was to meet the Senate President with our findings and subsequently meet President Bola Ahmed Tinubu with our findings. So if one is questioning our desire to relate with Bola Tinubu, how will I say that the findings of the Northern Senator Forum will go to the Senate President and then to Balaamit Tinubu, the President and Commander-in-Chief. And you could see, I switch off all my hands this morning. I don't want any Northern Senator to come here. If it is a cross, I have to carry I will carry it. I'm not afraid of anything. Anything. I believe in one God. And I believe power is transient. I'm not scared of any issue like suspension. I've been out of the Senate for eight years. And people had to force me back. It's not an issue. Some of our friends were removed by tribunals. They're living their lives. If because I said what I would say, if because I said what I, was, what I said, then I'll be suspended. So please be it. Anyway, uh, I was just taking notes down. You get to hear uh, from the horse's mouth also. What Senator uh, uh, Ninki is alleging is that 25 trillion uh, have, have places. They have nexus, according to him. You see the money. You see the project that the money is meant for. And you see the place where they are going to use the money for. For example, X, bil uh, X billion naira or X... Uh, let's say hundreds of millions of naira are going to this hospital in this village or this town and this state. So you can place them. But he said that three million out of this whole money, there is neither location, no place. So it's just hanging and floating in the air. This is usually the kind of money that are padded in because at the end of the day, you just see that, oh, the final budget that has been uh, put together, this is what the final uh, budget is. And he also said something that he said he's not afraid of suspicion, but Anyway, the news that is coming out now is that he has been suspended for three months for coming out to talk about this truth, for coming out to talk about alleged all of these things going on that he had been suspended. Earlier today, there was rowdiness at the, at the Senate in the National Assembly. And this is what I keep talking about. 
people keep telling you that oh no don't participate uh, politics we should leave our politics we should leave our politics to charlatan before i even uh, go into that there is a particular video that you need to listen uh, to right now please take a listen to this video into those issues all of us are called people some senators here so-called senior senators got 500 million each i am a ranking senator i didn't get did i go to the press most of you got and yes if we want to go into those issues excuse me if we want to go into those issues yes so i think that i think that i think that senator ningi senator ningi Well, as it is, we didn't get to hear what he thought about Senator Ningi because, of course, his mic was put off. And that's the thing about Senate. They can actually, when you see people at, the nat at their National Assembly there, they can actually just turn off your listening. You'll be speaking and it will not be uh, heard. They do that a lot when they well want, when somebody is talking, they don't want the person to speak or the, 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 uh, the president or whatever, whoever it is that is in charge. They don't want the, that person's speech to be heard. They just turn it off. And I think that's what happened in this senator's case but you did hear what the senators was what he, the allegation he was making a 500 million era was given to some senators that are called senior uh, senators so you and he's saying that he didn't get anything so he didn't go to the press so of course what he's saying now from what i can uh, uh infer from what he's saying is the fact that he didn't go anywhere I mean, he stayed, he stayed put. So Senator Ninki also shouldn't have gone anywhere. Probably that's the other part of the statement that he's going to come out with. He's not going to see. But the thing for me that I, it's quite instructive is the body language of the senators when he made the accusation. You could see there was no outrage immediately. They were literally like shot and they were like, mm, you know what? You know when you are caught, when somebody spilled particular truth and you're like, okay awkward like my daughter does it like, like okay awkward she said this thing and i always like to copy her like awkward what's happening now that's how they sort of like where by the way why are you still watching my video with that you always come to watch my videos eh on youtube you will not you will not uh you will not uh what's that thing called subscribe why even those of you that carry okay even if you are watching it on another handle i know a lot of handles just carry my video and put it there Oh yeah, go back to where the original one is on YouTube. Why you're watching it on YouTube at Aisha Yesufu TV? Go there every day. Three videos we drop that you watch. Oh yeah, okay. Let's come back. Five hundred million, no, five hundred of your million naira. Then Nigerians are going up and down, begging, begging like beggars up and down. You be sending people DM with sense of entitlement. Meanwhile, some people are there using your money, wasting your money anyhow that they like this is why they tell us that oh politics is there uh, this one they want to shame me out of politics if you say you want to enter politics you should almost be as if you are a criminal yourself all they want is these people who will continue to do nonsense i've said it before every one of us we have to be invested and interested in politics this is why they will kill we need to carry that whole thing to minimum wage i don't mind let them be paying senators thirty thousand per, per this thing let them be paying house of rep member you don't have to come every day let them be paid on when you come to this thing basis they know all these monies that they get access to all of these monies because that's the reason why they don't do focus on good governance people do all sorts of it, kill men do everything criminal for them regulation do everything criminal for them to get uh, in, in, into that office and some people we see that and I think oh that's the best thing oh they're politician if some people should be activists others should be politician oh they'll be ruining your life so that I'll be on the street every day making demand on the rules that go no we rather get the great activism it's political activism. Go in there, do the right thing for the for for the uh, for the greater good of the people. I haven't said that. Is that now we've heard the story that of course uh, Senator uh, Ningi has been suspended. That's what we. That's the report that we are getting. I don't know how far that that is true. I will still follow that uh, development that he has been suspended for three months uh, and, and all of that. But there was something that one other senator was talking about, and I would like you to listen to that right now. To spend in this chair, we want to do everything possible before the 13th of June to remove you. And I am telling you 
Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, distinguished, distinguished colleagues, and that's why I say I'm speaking as Senator Michael Okoye-Mivamidele, not as the Senate leader. As the Senate leader, I've always done everything possible to stabilize the Senate. I'm speaking, I'm exercising my own privilege as a senator. Now I am telling you, sir, I am telling you, sir, and I want Nigerians to know, I say it for history. He say it for which nonsense history. So all the nonsense, all the gaps, all the goofing, all the, this thing that uh, Akpadio has been doing is the people that say he will not sit on power that, that has been making them to do it. Now they are, they are going to whip up sentiment. They are using it. Akpadio knows there has been a lot of people calling for his resignation because he is not fit to be in that office. He has not behaved as someone who is fit to be in that office. His careless statement, like the other time, uh, uh, this person, I think it, it, it was... Uh, prof that was saying to him, he should just shut up. Somebody should tell Akbabio to shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. You understand? And so now they are going to bring up all of this sentiment. This is what always happens when they are talking about criminality. The issue is pardon. Is there pardon or no pardon? That's what the focus should be on. Now the person who is alleging the pardon is the one that is being suspended, not the people who are alleged to do the pardon. And you scare, of, of course, in some of the videos, if you hear, you hear in the background where someone say, oh, we should not, they should, they, are, they should not wash their dirty linens in, in, in public. For them, it's all about, you know, just for them to continue their business or, uh, as usual. And, and this whole craziness, and Nigerians are sitting down and looking. Of course, how would they care why people are hungry, people are dying, people are being abducted? Over, uh, over 700 people have been abducted in the last uh, last one week. They don't care. They have 500,000. They will go and buy, they will go and buy uh, 500 million that they're sharing for themselves. So that's little of what they're sharing. They'll go and buy citizenship for their families, for their children. And so, of course, they have permanent residences in all of this place anything happening in nigeria they jump on the nearest private uh, jet and they're out of nigeria leaving you and i to face the problem that is in nigeria and of course people think that they will continue to sit down and do nothing and 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 and, and just nigeria will work for them it doesn't work that way if we don't do the right thing <laughs> then we continue to use our head as coconuts